Thanks. So for people out there, our website for the program is rootstothrive.com. And I'd like to speak a little bit to our successes. Like we are in a constant uh, research project with our program, researching our outcomes. We think it's incredibly important to publish on this. And we're seeing improvements in PTSD, depression, anxiety, reaching the 80% range or higher in some cases. And it's consistent. And so we'll be publishing on that and getting that out there. Um, we really think that this model of, of returning to community is super important. And I'd love Todd, you know, would you speak a bit more about that? I think it's really important to hear like this, this concept of you can do, you know, this return to community, where, where did we come from? How did we get away from it? But now we're coming back to it. Would you mind jumping in on that a bit? Yeah, I do believe that the amount of isolation that we've been experiencing that's been amplified through COVID has really um, further amplified turn up, turn up symptoms of, of struggling and isolation, depression, anxiety, PTSD, and these things that, that can get elevated. Um, this was happening long before COVID, though. And for, for generations, some would say back to um, really started to begin at the, the onset of industrialization. So in a way, coming together with groups of people and presenting oneself in an authentic, vulnerable way, and then receiving unconditional positive regard within the context of that vulnerability um, really challenges some of these concepts of individualization that started to really get enhanced through the, pro the process of industrialization. So there is a little bit of a uh, rebellious perspective to what we're doing. Um, and that feeds some of us. But more often than not, what we're really hearing is people experiencing unique moments of connection and acceptance that they hadn't experienced elsewhere, including a number of professionals that are coming through, all of us, and witnessing change amongst their colleagues, amongst other practitioners, amongst participants in the program that they haven't seen throughout their own careers. And this seems to be the common thread is that ability and that opportunity to be seen with unconditional positive regard eyes. Um, a, a significant difference in that community aspect where our model differs somewhat is that in most professional contexts, the facilitators, the therapists, the leads, hold a bit of a professional armor against them where they're other than the people that are working through the healing process. Here, our facilitators and our leads lead the process through courageous vulnerability. And that courageous vulnerability opens up the possibility of safety for other participants, cutting through what would typically take weeks to get to in traditional one-to-one -one therapy settings. 